A few weeks ago, a little gem, a film, was exclusive to Hulu, and I don't think many, uh, many knew about it. Uh, a lot of people slept on this one, and that's kind of the problem with these exclusive app films, are uh, a lot of people aren't gonna see them or even know they exist to begin with. I mean, we have Netflix, we have Hulu, we have Apple TV, we have HBO Max, we have HBO Snacks, we have Disney Plus, we have Disney Plus Plus, we have Amazon Prime, we have uh, Amazon Optimus Prime. There's so many iterations on top of iterations, I don't even know which ones are true anymore and which ones I just made up on the spot that, that a corporation is probably gonna take and use. The film I'm referring to is Palm Springs. That was a long walk to get to that intro. Andy Samberg and Kristen Milioti star in this Groundhog's Day extravaganza. If I said Kristen's last name wrong, don't blame me. I looked up like 17 YouTube videos where she was on late night shows and I waited for the host to say her last name and it never came. I, I either caught just clips here and there um, or the intros were botched and they just said her first name. Hell, I even watched a video with her and Andy on it where they introduced themselves and as she said her last name, the feed kind of got all jarbled and they talked over each other. So I apologize if the last name's incorrectly said. What I won't apologize for are my opinions on movies such as this one, which in this case turns out to be pretty positive. In fact, my biggest hang up with the movie is the title itself, Palm Springs. Maybe the worst title ever given to a film in history ever. Maybe there's a play on words with the title and I'm just too dense to understand it, but I don't think the script is that profound that it's really putting a lot of thought into it. The thing that was nice about the Bill Murray vehicle Groundhog's Day was there was really no explanation for the event that occurs, why he keeps reliving the same day. You just kind of go along with the flow. It could have had something to do with the groundhog not seeing its shadow or seeing its shadow or whatever that thing is supposed to do. It could just be because Bill Murray's character is kind of a piece of crap and he needed to get better. It, it didn't matter. It was all kind of kind of nonsense anyways, just to get to the comedy. Here though, this, the Palm Springs repetition is, is really kind of the, the meat of the film. Kristen's character, Sarah, is really hung up on this. She can't understand why the days are repeating and she goes to the extremes to figure it out. And the ending, the not really a cliffhanger, but the unsolved mystery ending is, is one that kind of makes you wonder like, is this Christopher Nolan level stuff or is this just kind of you know, thrown at the wall and let the audience decide for themselves uh, Donnie Darko sort of affair. And I think it's the latter. I think it's the latter. I, 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 I've been told I don't enunciate my T's well. I'm, I'm from Minnesota. J.K. Simmons is also here to class up the joint. Really though, it's an Andy Kristen affair. If you're looking for a straight comedy, purified, crystallized in its natural form, that's not really this. There, there are good laughs to be had for sure. Although I'd say this is more of a almost borderline dramedy, a dramedy that has a bit of a dark sci-fi twist to it. Although it doesn't quite go as deep into the sci-fi realm as I would have liked it to. I mean, there's, there's some nutsy stuff going on. We got dinosaurs in this for, for a tiny bit of time. Spoiler, I guess, but this has been out for a month. So I think if you're watching a review of Palm Springs, you're, you're just kind of wondering what I thought as opposed to what you thought. I guess I have two qualms with the picture. The first being the title, the second being, I guess, a more realistic uh, annoyance for me. And this could once again be just me being dense and not understanding some sort of a layered commentary behind it. But the lead character's uh, hammer beer or some cheap shit, I don't know what it is, like there's no tomorrow. And while it's funny in a, like a frat boy, American pie-ish sort of way, after about 20 minutes, I'm just kind of sick of Andy Samberg drinking. Obviously, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. What did I like though? Well, first off, visually, it's, it's very pretty. I, I love the aesthetic feel of it. I love the wide shots. I love the color. Obviously, Andy and Kristen are very likable and they have fantastic chemistry together. Kristen's hilarious. Andy, I mean, goes without saying, he's, he's been doing comedy for a long time, but uh, Kristen, you know, she comes from like Sopranos and that one weird episode of Black Mirror. That's redundant. They're all weird. Uh, and she was the, she got a bum rap on How I Met Your Mother. I believe that, I believe she was the alleged mother. I mean, she was the mother. She was, she was the mother. Come to think of it, How I Met Your Mother had a bit of a Palm Springs as well. They, I know when the DVD came out, they released an alternate ending that was basically an apology to the fans. And they just had Ted end up with Kristen's character the whole time. No, no, no leukemia or, or whatever she had. 
spoiler on How I Met Your Mother from like a decade ago. Another huge pro is the music. Very synth heavy. It's got that cool bassy synth wave stuff going on, which has made a huge comeback thanks to, you know, shows like Stranger Things. So I'm just glad it's here. I've always been a fan. To surface level the plot, Niles keeps reliving the same day over and over again. He keeps going to this wedding. He keeps hanging out by the pool and he keeps falling in love with the same girl. There are a few twists and turns along the way to keep you interested. Good humor, as I said. And this is just an all around well-made film. I don't really have it, like, I, obviously, I don't really have any real gripes about it other than, uh, you know, really stupid stuff. I do think to get it to like an upper quality movie that I would go back to over and over again, they needed to push the sci-fi a little heavier for me, go a little bit more extreme with the jokes. You know, obviously there's the uh, killing yourself over and over again shtick, which they don't go into that much. Um, I, I think going a little bit darker with the film would have helped it. As it stands though, you could do a lot worse than watching this on a, on a rainy afternoon. I definitely would recommend it if you have Hulu. If not, maybe it's other places. Uh, like I said, it took me, it took me like a, a dozen or so videos to still maybe not get the actress's name right. I, I'm certainly not going to check to see if this film is available anywhere else. And that's <laughs> that's the review, and that's the review. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I try to put out new stuff on a weekly basis, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I have a second channel full of more shenanigans, and I'm also on Twitch now. So there's a lot of variety, a lot of options, and hopefully you can find these channels via links on this video itself, if I did my job correctly. Otherwise, they might be in the description below, or you can just visit the channel page. All right, take care.